Holy crap, huge news. I know you guys came here to watch Gary talk about how great and what a god gamer he is and hear him talk about video games. But an hour and a half ago, basically what we got from official PlayStation Twitter account, Hell Divers fans, we've heard your feedback on the Hell Divers 2 account linking update, the May 6 update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for current players beginning May 30th will not be moving forward. We are still uh, learning what is best for PC players and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Hell Divers 2 and we'll con uh, we'll keep you updated with uh, sorry, on future plans. Holy crap, this is huge. This is awesome. Gamers won. Vote with your money. If you're upset, write a bad review about the game because if you actually go to it right over here and you go to Hell Divers, Hell Divers 2, and you go to the freaking reviews right over here. Yes, I am born. Yes, January 1st. Overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, sorry, excuse me, I, I'm retarded. Negative. Holy crap, this is huge. So this is a big, big W for gamers everywhere. I know that we made this video, um, uh, what's it called again two days ago so hopefully um this is this is a disclaimer that has it now has been reverted awesome awesome this is the l rare super super rare sony w all right so hopefully you guys are super happy about this i am i'm gonna go play some more hell divers hooray for democracy hooray for freedom and let's kick some ass now back to the video let's go ahead and uh talk about some video game stuff because gary's the ultimate god gamer totally here. like so uh, let's talk about let's talk a little, little bit about Hell Divers. So um, Gary, what have you what have you, what have you heard about Hell Divers since like um, all your friends are basically complaining about it? Right uh, now? Well, I know they were freaking loving it. And they're like, uh, for one, it started with the meme of not understanding uh, Starship Troopers, which led into Hell Divers. See, I understand some of this stuff, and uh, you know the whole you know media literacy you're not understanding what you're watching blah 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 then it'll bled into hey we're fighting for democracy fuck the bugs um <laughs> and um people were just having a good time that's what it's supposed to be a bunch of fans getting together enjoying the shit out of this and then they just did it, to them they it, it, it seems like a little thing that it shouldn't be a big deal but they don't and and ultimately it kind of is except for the fact that you pulled the rug under out from under fucking PC gamers, right? So I know yeah. enough PC supremacy. Uh, and if I was a real gamer, I'd be a PC gamer. Like I, I straight up that that's where I, it, I, you know, I have, I have consoles PC. Um, but uh, I have a meta PC just for that. And you I... pissed off the PC gamers like you just did. So it's principle. It's a matter of principle. It's not a matter of just to take five seconds to sign up for something. What's the fucking big deal? It's like, okay, you know, um, but hey, you know, it's just two weeks. What the, what's the big deal? But, you know, there's only so many times you can say, what's the big deal to where you go, you know, fuck you. you like they, they buried it in the fine print, I guess. I'm guessing it's buried in the five, fine print that you had to sign up for this account. Now, Never mind yeah. that Sony is so fucking incompetent that they got their own emails hacked and then they got their twice major, major mm -hmm. Sony PlayStation hacks and Sony account hacks. Uh, people's credit cards went out there and uh, they want you to sign up for an account just so they can basically sell your data. So they get, and then the worst part is you won't be able to play the game on Steam anymore. Well, fuck that. Screw you. No. So now Steam, I think, has changed the playing hours, right? So you can get a refund. Now, Steam's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, Gotta yeah. say, Steam's pretty fucking cool for a for a big company like that. So very, very customer-oriented. It seems like, correct me if I'm wrong, but it just seems like they're the kind of people you want to support, you know? Um, that's what I know. I know my friends are fucking livid. <laughs> they're livid because, uh, you know, this does matter. It does... If you had said this up front, like, hey, we're going to let you play this thing for a couple months, but then you have to sign up in two months. Said it up front, that would have been completely different. People still would have bitched, but dude, you're being upfront about it. It was, they weren't up front because they knew it would piss people off. Am, am I far off on that one? That they hit it or didn't think about it? So, they had to know um, this would piss people off. Yeah, th th there is a there's a fine print saying that this is, um, you know, uh, there is, you have to link to a third party. But it wasn't, it, but a lot of people, like, 
even South Park made made an episode about this. It's like who actually reads the like you know the TOS or the the actual fine nobody script, you know like yeah people are just like I just want to fucking play the game man so they yeah. just like go in and didn't read it and then yeah is that the part of the uh user's fault technically yes but the thing is yeah this is just like extremely like well how they handled it is just really bad there's now i know there's a law in california where you can't bury things when you're selling a house or a car in five print anymore you have to make there's certain things you have to put in bold they they have to be up there up front uh you can't bury that shit in five print anymore now um i don't know how it is for entertainment i'm sure they can get away with everything because people just see it as a game right uh it's still wrong it's still wrong. You were still hiding things. So somebody at Sony who may and whoever's making hell divers knew this and said, we're going to, we're, we're going to come out with it. And if you, I mean, I would guess that the people making hell divers would be probably dialed in with the, you know, gamer with your average gamer and know that the PC gamer would be pissed. Right. Am yeah. I, I mean, like they would know. So yeah, they I hit it from you. That's what people are pissed about. Is my yeah, guess. And, and the thing is that like you have the community manager saying it well it only takes shoot in 20 seconds and you do it for everything else anyways it's like this shouldn't be a big deal but yeah like you said it's the fucking principle it's the most important thing it's, and that's it's not how you fucking talk to the customer i mean like i know one of the one of the moderators uh, i think was on discord had said i thought you were like asking for a refund and leaving anyway that's not how you fucking talk to a customer y yep. even if they're mad as hell you go we're sorry. We probably should have been upfront about this, but it wasn't the fine print. But you know what? Take some responsibility. It doesn't even mean yeah. you have to back off on your statement. You just go, listen, we probably should have been upfront about this and we apologize. That's it. Yeah. It was in the fine print, yeah. but you know what? We get what you're saying. We hear you. We understand you. And then try to find some middle ground, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of gaslighting or not saying anything at this point. Yeah. Yeah, Perry Chan says that you can't get a refund if you exceeded the two weeks of purchase. So yeah, a lot and a lot of people have been playing this game for like months now. Yes, yes. Yeah, I think they're changing their <laughs> they they're changing their stance on that. I, I think so, I, this morning they're issuing refunds regardless of your playtime. No, we are, no, it, it's it's that that's not actually one hundred percent true. It's only refund if you are um what's it called again um uh gray. You can't you don't have access to PlayStation Network in Philippines. Yeah, that's the thing. So, yeah, because so you my... will get a refund, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so only people who don't have access actually will get a refund. So this comes to us from uh, that park place and says, Hell Divers 2 oh. community manager claims that players in countries where PlayStation Network is not available will not need to link the stream accounts as well. So, and you can also get a refund. So the thing is, like, this is like, if like, 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 if it's if it wasn't a big deal, then why why you do it to begin with? Exactly. If it's not such a big deal, it, exactly. Then why do it? It's a yeah, it's 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 the same thing. The same controversy happened with um, uh, what's it called again? Uh, Stellar Blade, right? The whole censorship thing. It's like, oh, we um, you know, four days prior to the game coming out, it's like, oh, the game's gonna be uncensored. A any region is gonna be completely uncensored, and then uh, four days later, censorship happens. It's yeah. like it's it's not it's not like it's not like you're adding a yeah you you are adding a piece of cloth to you know hide some cleavage and to make it like sexualized yada yada yada. But it's it's yeah, it's still pretty you know coomer and gooner like material but it's the principle you guys said it and now you're, you're it's it, it's sort of it feels like this 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 thing happened within a week of each other it, so, yes uh, and and this is going to be this is the problem with the global marketplace and i'm going to get all alex jones on you this is why they want globalization this is they want why they want to make everybody average and men and women when they want everybody to be non-binary blobs that they can sell uh evenly to around the world so there, there isn't very many variation uh because the variations create more costs require more workers uh that's that's essentially what they want uh and fuck that so uh it, it's 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 just part of this global market landscape that uh you know it, it's going to be very difficult with gamers uh yeah i talked about that like i know enough to know you're all over the fucking world right that's the one thing that that is truly connecting us all and they all have different tastes and they're never going to be able to to make one thing that appeals to absolutely everyone perfectly with no problems you're going to have to regionalize stuff which yeah it's going to cost more money it's going to cost but they're trying they want to get away from that but they they, they can't they can't it's an yeah. impossibility they want to homogenize humanity exactly warren b that's what i was trying to say thank you very much 
And this one comes to us from the Helldivers 2 media. It's like, it's like over here, a new Helldivers hotfix. Helldivers patch uh, 01000302. Patch notes removed Chinese people, Russian people, Eastern European people, African people, and Filipino people. <laughs> oh man! Oh. <laughs> Ryan's all shit. I'm now I'm playing. You can bring oh, back man. the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and, and I. Where are we at with the the reviews? It, it, it went from yesterday was mixed positive uh it was mixed reviews now it's like negative like it had like over a hundred i got a hundred thousand negative reviews i heard it has more negative reviews than positive reviews now so yeah. that's really really that's good. fast and, yeah and, and 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 here's like that that's why i think voting with your your dollar and like letting them know that you are unhappy with whatever media you are consuming may it be if it's video games tv shows movies or or, 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 or you know whatever i think this should let them know that like, hey, this is this is wrong. The, your fans are, you know, your demographic isn't liking this. We want you to change it. However, um, I think Hollywood is like they, they're most of the time they're like, ah, you guys don't know what you want. You know, like you guys aren't, you know, am yeah, I out of touch? They, it's the fans control, are out of touch. The fans are out of touch because we control the market. You know, uh, no one place controls the market in gaming. Uh, so that's that's where the big difference is, right? Mm -hmm. So, um. Voting with your dollar is important. It is important for you to, to say something about it. Uh, a lot of the black pillars, listen, I yes, completely black pilled Star Wars, but that's one facet of a much larger cultural cultural issue. I would never black pill on the culture. But um, like walking away silently is what most customers do, and which most a lot of corporations I, I Think have a hard time figuring out they just see you as a big mass of uh a, a, you know a big trough anyway so they they go well it's churn whatever which it is but um it's the customer who walks away and says something that might enact some change because at least that person said something right mm -hmm. so uh, you, you, i think you always use your voice we can use our voices now uh, imagine how pissed people had to be back in the olden days when they sat down and wrote a letter put it in an envelope put a stamp on it and then walk to the mailbox to put it in the mailbox. Imagine how pissed you'd have to be. Well, now it's a lot easier and uh, giant corporations are trying to shut it down. They can't, but it's important to vote with your wallet and speak out and speak out. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of uh, hell divers and breaking bad, I do want to bring this one up. This one's actually pretty funny. I just saw this earlier. <laughs> this is, oh yeah. We had, <laughs> we had a good thing. You son of a bitch. We had our ships. We had Super Earth, we had everything we needed, and all and all ran like clockwork. You could have shut your mouth when we kept the player base and made as much money as you ever needed. It was perfect, but no, you just had to sever PZ players. You and your PlayStation, your ego, you just had to be Sony. If you'd done your job, known your place, we'd all be killing bots and bugs right now. And this is so this is so good. Oh man, but uh, Gary, did you did you play Helldivers? No, I watched my friends play it. I did, did not you play it. it. Would I now? No, but uh, I would. I would. would you start a it gaming channel? Fun. Would I? Will I start a gaming channel? Probably in semi retirement. I, I mean, I'll probably game once in a while when I have a chance. Uh, I'm starting to have a little more time freed up. That's starting to happen a little bit, but. Uh, it, the nature of this job, uh, this gig, is like I'll have three days off for research, development, doing this boring fucking office shit that I hate, um, and then uh, occasionally talking to a lawyer. I mean, it's really rare, but talking to a lawyer and the lawyer is nice, but like it's like I I'd rather be making a video or doing a live stream. To be honest with you, I hate all that stuff. Uh, that's why I don't sign a ton of big deals because it's just so time consuming and why. Um, but uh, yeah, the nature of the gig is like I could start a game and I'd have to like stop it in the middle of it and start a video. Uh, ask, ask Perry. How many? <laughs> hey, Perry, you in the chat? How many times I've made you work till four in the morning <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't bug you for a week? You know, it's like 
it, it's it's uh it, it's yeah it's too unpredictable it's too unpredictable to to like have a regular gaming thing because i mean yeah. it's it's funny to watch me uh, he says all the time right like tonight <laughs> all the time <laughs> all the time all the time but uh yeah it's 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 i mean it's fun to watch me bumble through a game but uh, the games I do like are the ones I get to run around, kind of open world, uh, and and fuck around a lot. So uh, that's why I like City of Heroes. Those that's a game like I legit got good at. Uh, Diablo was a ja- game I legit got good at. Red Dead Redemption, yes. the first one. I just love diving into those worlds. That's the kind of game I really love. And it's just got to be something that sparks. Uh, well, for one. I had a lot of time back then. I had downtime. I don't have as much downtime now because I have to watch a lot of TV and movies. I don't know if you know that or not, but I have to watch a shitload. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.